I'm Troy Kirby with the Auburn Examiner with a quick update on the Auburn City Council. The Auburn City Council met May 3rd to discuss hazard pay for grocery store workers, the facility's master plan, and amending the lease between the city and Sound Transit. Ordinance number 6818, which would create a $4 an hour pay hike for grocery store workers, was discussed. The ordinance was tabled 6-1 to the May 17, 2021 council meeting with a 7-0 motion to hear a presentation by the UFCW 21 and grocers at the May 10, 2021 council study session. An ordinance protecting the health, safety, and prosperity of grocery workers and the general public during the existing state of emergency. And because the motion has been made, the current motion on the table is, is to table it to a date certain. So At the last study session, uh, we had quite a discussion, as we know, um, quite a few council comments and uh, questions. And during the study session, the mayor um, asked council if we would like to have staff prepare and bring back information to council, which is typically done on ordinances um, for city council. And this would look at the impacts to the community. We would look at bringing back information regarding equality and the financial impact of the ordinance. And although there was not a consensus of council that evening, I'm suggesting tonight that we do exactly that. I seconded this motion but want to make it clear to my fellow council members that I am in favor of this ordinance. Uh, but in conversation with several of my uh, uh, council members in study session, it made clear to me that uh, people had sincere desire to examine the equity piece. I, I appreciate the um, words of both the uh, deputy mayor um, council members Trout Manuel and uh, Larry Brown. Um, I, I, I believe we do understand the equity implications, so I'm, I'm going to vote against this, but I, I totally understand where everyone else is coming from. What I would also like with besides the uh, uh, diversity and equity portion of it is the impact on the grocery stores uh, will have as far as um, uh, what is it going to impact the uh, grocers themselves? So I would like to know that portion of it. Uh, if we do this, um, how many of, the, of our grocers are going to start laying people off? Because um, we've already heard from some of the stores that it's going to impact them and uh, they may leave our area. And that's that's one of the things that I would like our staff to look and see how is how much of an impact are they going to have that they would have to lay people off and uh, or you know close the doors i def i mean i want to hear from both sides before i make a decision so is there someone from the grocery side that can also present to us to tell us what their concerns are i just want to i just i just want to hear from both sides that is that possible or that's not possible also heard was Resolution 5589, adopted unanimously, which amends the lease agreement between the city and Sound Transit for a property located within the Auburn Sound Transit parking garage. The, this resolution corrects uh, an error on the site plan that misidentifies the location of the space that is subject to the lease agreement. And finally, during audience participation, Mayor Backus apologized for a mischaracterization of her public comment during the April 19th, 2021 council meeting on ordinance 6817. Council, this was um, an email correspondence between myself and Zanita Reed of the Lived Experience Coalition and also uh, a co-member or member of the board that I also serve on for the King County Regional Homelessness Authority Board of Governance. And I want to apologize to Zanita for mischaracterizing her email as one of support for ordinance number 6817. We had had a long discussion on numerous topics and the intent was not to mislead, uh, but it was 
my true understanding of the conversation that we had had, but I want to offer my personal and sincere apologies to Ms. Reed for that mischaracterization. Thank you for watching the Auburn City Council Update presented by the Auburn Examiner.